next week in the new music, we'll be featuring a simulcast special with Toronto's Max Webster. I got together with Kim Mitchell and Pai Dubois and Barry while the show was being put together. Max Webster has always been a tight unit, going for almost seven years without personnel change. But recently, because of a difference in musical direction, keyboard player Terry Watkinson split the band, leaving a big hole to fill. It took quite a while, actually, to get the right guy. There are a lot of keyboard players out there, but some of them are really funny, too. Like, um, what, what happened while we were in the States, <laughs> Terry said he was leaving the band to pursue his own kind of thing, whatever he's doing. He seems really happy right now. Some of the people that came out were hilarious. Like, they filled out application forms, and then we would look at them and and just say, okay, well, this guy will come, this guy won't. And some were really weird. One girl, well, there was a girl came out, and uh, she had diamonds, diamonds written out in the wrong key. Like, it was all written. She had a degree and everything. And she played it like she was uh, doing a home organ demonstration at Eaton's or something like that. Some of the, some of the people that came out were really weird. And we were going to hire her because we thought, you know, just sit there and play. So how did you eventually come up with David Stone? Well, Dave Stone had filled out an application for him. And we brought him out once, and then we said, uh, it's good, but we, we've got other people to check out. And eventually, uh, we ended up with a guy, Greg Chad, who played with a group from Toronto called Saga for a while. And we ended up taking him, and then uh, we had him for about three, four days, and then we decided to go with Dave Stone. Can you tell us something about the new albums, uh, the direction it's going to take? It's going to be called Universal Juveniles. I don't know, all I can do is quote you some uh, lyric lines. Actually, you'll, on the simulcast, we're going to be playing some new stuff. So I'll be saying this is new, and it'll probably sound pretty rough and pretty shaky, but at least we're playing it, you know. There's uh, April in Toledo, and this girl's taking a break from my face. And what about the tour Harley. then? Hopefully, Harley. the English tour was cancelled because of the change in personnel, but I'm sure they'll be hooking that up again, I hope. Yeah, we would have been there and back by now, back to England doing our own headline tour there. We killed them over there, man. They love us. It was us. great. It was great. You become Canadian stars in England now? Yeah. We will be after, uh, after we go over there and headline. We what's really the, have the, the parts. What's the attraction with Canadian bands in Britain? It seems that almost every Canadian rock and roll band that's gone over there, oh, we send Rush, them, uh, April Wine, they've all become heroes. They like the aluminum snowshoes we send them. <laughs> <laughs> and all the great Canadian beef recipes. And they, they just, they think the, Plus, Ar the Arctic double dome acid is the best in the world. Yeah, they've never heard of grilled cheese sandwiches, so when we go over there and make them one. Peanut butter and jam sandwiches, they can't believe it. They can't believe that. Do you believe that? What? <laughs> Peanut butter and jam? <laughs> Banana? You're gonna eat that? <laughs> check, check, check. One, uh, two. There was one night, there was a bomb scare. Yeah. And we just happened to be playing, by coincidence, right beside a pub that was blown up about five years ago that had killed like 20 people in the pub. So Max is doing Beyond the Moon, and the people are just going crazy, and all of a sudden these Bobby's came on stage, and this, and this ma little manager grabbed the mic and said, uh, and it just went quiet like that, and said, there's been a bomb scare, and he did this with this amazing Manche Manchesterian accent. Could you please stand up and look under your seats? <laughs> 3,000 kids got up, looked under the seats, and then sat down again, and that was it. And it was a bomb scare. And it was an honest-to-God bomb scare. <laughs> and everybody, everybody's going like this. The audience probably goes through it every night. But for us, and then they all started yelling, Wally. Wally! The whole crowd. Wally! Nobody knows what that means. Well, well, that's... I know what it means now, but then I didn't. What does Wally mean? <laughs> it was a dog at a pop festival that got lost, right? Yeah. There's a big group on stage, and somebody had lost their dog, right? And they said, Every, Wally's lost. <laughs> and so that's where it started. And, and apparently, when they want more, if they really dig the band, at the after the band's finished, sometimes they'll yell Wally, meaning come on back. But if they're yelling it while you're playing, they don't like it. They go, Wally, Wally. You know, is there anything else better to do? Let's find a dog or something. We never had that problem.
Max as the simulcast was coming together, it became apparent to me that they were a little nervous about the show. I asked them if they had any reservations about doing television. Yeah. Those were handled with Valium. Yeah. <laughs> Those reservations. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right, yeah. No, you are right. Um, and we were only considering Dave and how he would feel, the, you know, four gigs into uh, after joining the band. How, how do you feel about doing a simulcast? How do you, do you, you know, but we felt even if it is loose, it still feels good loose. You know, it's fun. The spontaneity is fun, you know, when, when things are a bit loose. That's what I like, you know, a little bit of looseness. That's why I do like him, because he has loosened up Max a bit, you know, because we were sort of a a tight band that arrangements are very tight, and he's sort of a spontaneous player. Uh, little splashes here and there, and I like that. Do you feel that that's going to add to the uh, yes. any growth in the band? That oh, yeah, he's going to come one? across amazing on record. On record, he's going to blow headphones off of heads, I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> For you, statewide camera two. Thank you, BTR. Thanks, camera sir. three. Uh, I want you to follow uh, Kim along when he when he's uh, when he comes on stage. Hey, uh, camera five. As soon as you've given me uh, as soon as you've given me the uh, follow up on it, I want you to go backstage and uh, give me the drums. Uh, there'll be about seven seconds. Uh, Kim starts on lead guitar, and then seven seconds later we cut to drums, and then wide on camera three. Box in the van. Well, that's something go anyway. Check in, go check in the van. See if there's anything in there. See how many there are. Okay, there's supposed to be 14 all together, so I'll minus what's on the floor. 30 seconds. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Stand by for Max Webster at the Roxy Theater. Coming up. Okay, give me black again. Cats in Cats the back. The, back. the neighbors holler. This party's higher than... Coming up on the new music, the Eagles and the Numbers.